I'm making you live a, a um, very humble life. Exit. Take trip to exit. For God. Is everything alright, sir? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm just, uh... No one. No one must see. I had a bad strepsil. ourselves into the ladies' bathroom. Oh. Oh. Sorry, dude. I tried to make him go into the ladies' room. I'm sad that he didn't. Oh. Hello, lady. Hobo's leaving. Bye, Hobo! Hello, blue shirts. And grey shirt. I have pants. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Uh, Mr. Could you Mar please oh, tell him what happened? Ethan Mars, it, it was this I afternoon. I Rain. went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel. So I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. No. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. Well, it must have been about... 410, 415. 415. 415. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. 415. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? Oh, hi, He Norman. was wearing a coat. It was beige. A beige coat. And he was wearing and green a pair pants. Of pants. They were green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh. Yeah, um, I can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I panicked. I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Oh, hi, Mr. Norman. Anything that might have caused him to run away? Uh... Yeah, yes? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Because I made him do his homework. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother and me. It's out of character. All right. Sure, sure. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Cool, thanks. You're so helpful. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Say it. Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. We hope. But what if it is the origami killer? Then we have so many days. Well, then to we find have him. about four days to find him alive. Four days. Party! I mean, uh. Oh, hi, Grace. Good God. Did they find something? No. No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Let's please do. Do they? Do they think it's the origami killer? Uh, yes. It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. I 
grown more hair than what this before. Did you Ethan? cut it? How could you lose Sean like that? Quite easily. You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Well, when you're having blackouts, Why very you hard. Why Ethan? Why? I told you, bitch, Wasn't I blacked it enough out. losing Jason? Ooh. That's, that's a bad place to go, lady. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Well, what did you mean to say? <laughs> I miss him so much. I don't think that's what you meant to say. <laughs> I think that's just your apology for <laughs> wanting to say what you said. And you said exactly what you wanted to say. <laughs> moment. Now everyone in the police station knows my shame. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself now. Ah, uh, it's another time with the lovely, incomparable Scott Shelby. Scott Shelby. Yay! I got to remember. All right, let's push this up. Nimby, good evening to you, sir. Yes. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Huh. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Oh, it's another dead. I have nothing more to say. Except I have awesome hair. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. But... I also lost someone I loved. No. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. Up the back. In the back of this door, to the right. Oh, thanks. thanks. Let's go through this way and destroy some of your stuff. Is coming Good out. evening, sir. Hello. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Oh. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Yes. Are you going to open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man! You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now! You shall not be robbing my register, sir. Whoa. That money is mine. It was close. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Oh, fuck! Drop it! Now! Fine, fine. Don't try, move! Try to do something careful. Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody calm. here wants to hurt you. No, we're all just gonna be cool and everything will be alright. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Yeah, man. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Um. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. 
I got a little girl. Why are you asking me about that? Her name is Jessica. Why am I telling what you this What would Jessica stuff? think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? You haven't done anything serious yet. If you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down, and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice! Um... Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. Oh. Um... And now... Fine, I'll do it the hard way. Come on, give me the gun. Punched, motherfucker. Sir, sir, thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. Yeah. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Hmm. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Hmm. Can I? Look inside the box. Look inside the box. Yeah. Oh, origami figures. Fancy Please, that. take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. Oh, it'd be lots of use to me. It not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Ethan's child, Sean. He's looking for a new daddy. Mr. I mean, Shelby. he's looking for freedom. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. And maybe there isn't. But I can see now that I was wrong. Yes, yes, you were wrong. And now I think is a good time to cut the episode before we start yet another chapter. Because, yeah. So, bye bye Actually, first, let's see if we won any trophies. Oh, and also, character number four, Madison. Her creepy eyes. No! Alright, well, see you soon.